Hello family, welcome back to another edition of the Opal Diversity Solutions and in this video we're going to be looking at uh, replacing uh, a hard drive for this uh, Lenovo T460 series and uh, it's a ThinkPad Lenovo laptop and without wasting on of our time let's start right away and among us the tools that we're going to be using we shall be using a Philips screwdriver and uh, a pry tool just to help us survive through. So starting right away, we start by disconnecting the uh, laptop of the power cable. And uh, let's start by removing the battery. So I will just uh, remove the battery by unlocking these locks. So I will just flip, slide the battery out. And this is the battery. So on uh, putting the battery aside, we focus on uh, removing the screws and screwing these uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're having eight screws in total number, so we have to remove each one by one. So let's start by removing this first one, or rather, unscrewing the first one. Loosening. They're all inbuilt screws, they don't get out of the frame, so we just uh, loosen them and then leave them inside because they don't get out of the frame so remove unscrewing the third one I'll go to the fourth one the fifth one over this side the sixth one six Seventh one, and screw the seventh one. Losing, losing the last eighth one. So once we are done and uh, loosening the the screws, we we'll get our pry tool, which is this, and uh, locate, locate any joint where we can just move, move the pistol. So I've located this one. Just slide it all through gently. You just slide it through gently as you follow through removing the frame. So this is our frame over here. And uh, this is our interior, our inside part. So let's focus on first uh, getting disconnecting the in, inner battery. This laptop, uh, the T460 series, has uh, an inbuilt battery, which is this one. Uh, so we look for ways of disconnecting it. it and uh, it has a, a connector here. This is its connection point. So we have to first disconnect this part to have uh, to get rid of the electrical power and it's static power inside so this is its connector and uh, i've disconnected it so in case we were in case we are interested in uh, changing or replacing the battery it has um, three screws which we need to unscrew so let's first uh, focus on uh, replacing the battery and uh, we have to first remove these three screws for the battery so once we are done unscrewing we just remove the battery and this is the battery which is due for replacement in case we want to replace we just replace off this one and uh with the new one so putting it aside since we are focusing on this assembling now once we are done with that uh we focus on uh, replacing the hard drive in case it needs it has faults and we need to replace or upgrade to a bigger a bigger capacity so this uh, hard drive here has one, one screwdriver, which is here. So we need to first uh, unscrew this screw. And once we're done, we just flip open and pull out the hard drive. So this is our hard drive. In case we want to replace, we just uh, remove it and replace with a new one. So that is our hard drive and uh, 
go moving on we have uh, the ram the ram sticks we have two uh, ram sticks and uh, we have two ram slots so these slots uh, in case we want to remove or replace or remove the uh, ram we will focus on removing uh, opening these holes these two handles rather locks and remove the ram stick, the first ram stick, also the second one, just flip open the ram sticks, and here we are with the ram stick. So in case we want to replace the ram, the ram uh, sticks, we just uh, do as I've done, and uh, in case we want, in case it is the fan that we would like to replace, this is the fan, and uh, this is the cooling pipe. The fan cooling pipe, uh, the heat sink cooling pipe, and here below here is the heat sink for this uh, series, the Novo ThinkPad T460. And uh, moving on, we have uh, so in case we want to replace the fan, we, it has a it has a screw here. Uh, where exactly? It's uh, just attached to this side. It's it's attached on. Uh, we have to first remove the heat sink. And the heatsink has four screws, so we first unscrew these four and then uh, remove, get the fan off just gently. So we can just try it, uh, removing the heatsink for video purpose. Let me just unscrew the heatsink along with its cooling pipe. So once we are done loosening this, loosening this, and loosening this, we have to first remove this, this uh, glue. So we start. Uh, we have to first connect off the fan here. It has a connector here, so we need to first uh, disconnect it off the motherboard. And this is our cooling fan. So in case we want to replace, and it, in case this one is faulty, we just uh, have to remove this and replace it. But in most cases, the fan is always independent of the cooling uh, pipe. So in case it's only the fan which is faulty, we can just. Uh, disconnect this uh remove this fan as uh, sorry the, the pipe the cooling pipe and then focus on uh buying uh, the fan independently but in most cases they move together so we won't have to stress on that so once that is done we let's focus on also removing and replacing the wireless card this is the wireless card for this uh lenovo t4 60 series and uh, in case we want to remove we can just disconnect off this and uh, then get remove the screws and uh, replace with a new one then also the we have this CMOS battery which is here and uh, these ones always, always take long to be replaced so this is our VGA cable VGA connector that connects to the display point and uh, this is our power unit which connects direct to the uh, motherboard here so let's uh focusing on let's focus on replacing back or rather putting back these uh, uh these parts that we've uh, disconnected so let's start by putting back the fan or the cooling system so in case it's a new one, they just we have to replace with this. So I'll connect back my connector. Connect back my connector, and then and then this one had. Uh, supposed to have uh, 
But I also have four screws. I think we've Let me first uh, disconnect it and uh, look at this screw, the other screw. Which is this one. So we're connecting it back. Connecting it back. First put back the fan. Let's connect it back onto the motherboard. So I'll connect it back onto the motherboard here. Connect the connector back into the motherboard. Then I'll focus on these. Uh, these screws for the heat sink have numbers. There is number one here, so it's, it 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 follows that syntax. You start with the Tighten number uh, number one, then you go to number two here. It's always crisscross. Then you go to number three here. And then you go to number four. So you have to ensure that they're all stiff and tightened very well. So once we are done, once we are done with that, let's focus on replacing the RAM sticks. Uh, just put it back gently. And also put it back gently. So once that is done, we can focus on uh, replacing the, putting back our, our hard drive. So I just put it, push it inside. Oops. Push it inside and then put back the, put back the screw. Put back the screw here. And tighten it a little harder. So once that is done, now this this laptop series has uh, two inbuilt batteries. It has this one and this one, which uh, in case they are faulty and we want to replace them, they are connected directly up to this connecting point. So we can just disconnect them off directly and then have a replacement. So now that we are done with that, we can uh, get our battery and uh, replace it, put it back to its uh, position, and this is how it sits. So we turn, flip turn it, and then get our screws, our three screws. we we'll start with the two, this other side, but order doesn't matter in most cases when we're replacing this battery. Well, what all that matters is, uh, is it sitting, it, in the right position is it aligned very well so let's uh tighten this and also get the last one tighten it so once we are done with that we ensure that it's connected fully well so we connect back our connector uh just connect it back connect it back into its slot so once that is done, we ensure that all is well and uh, confirm that all is covered well and attached well. We then get back our disk cover frame and put it back into its sitting position. So ensure that it fits in well. a little hard so once we're done with that we have to tighten all the screws all the eight screws starting with this one in the corner tighten this one tighten the second one then 
tighten the second one. We also tighten this one. Tighten the third one. Tighten the fourth one. Then also tighten the sixth one. And then the seventh one. Oh. The sixth one, sorry. And then the seventh one. And then the last one, which is screw number eight. So once we are done with uh, doing that, we just uh, get our external battery and then flip it back into its sitting position where it's aligned well and clock it. So once that is done, that is where we go to our switch and press the switch button. And it will give you that Lenovo display and that's it for this video thank you for watching and see you soon cheers see you later